guys, welcome to a new video. So two weeks ago, I uploaded my video where I tried following an 18th century hair tutorial. And one of the components of that was to curl the hair in papers. As I was following the tutorial, it was very unclear what I was supposed to do. The description was ambiguous to say the least, but there is in fact a YouTube video up by Janet Stevens, who is a lady who does historical hair tutorials on YouTube, where she explains the technique of making 18th century paper curls or papillotes. Since I miserably failed <laughs> to make the paper curls in that previous video, I wanted to try and redeem myself and 18th century paper curls by just trying again using Janet Stevens' instructions instead of James Stewart's. I still have my tissue paper from last time and 18th century paper curls are obviously made using paper. Curling paper, it would have been at the time, and supposedly it is the most similar to modern day tissue paper. So in that previous video I cut myself a bunch of uh, tissue paper triangles, but these are cut to the size that is again suggested in James Stewart's book. And as we found out, in that video, my hair is too long for his methods. So that also means that these papers are too small. We are gonna go for some funky colors today. I'm going to cut this into triangles. I think this is going to be the size of my triangles. All right, so I've got my triangles. Let's hope these are big enough. Now for the technique. what. Janet describes that you should do is to take a piece of hair and this is gonna be the first time I try this so bear with me here. <laughs> Wind it around my fingers then roll it up towards the head then I'm gonna take one of my triangles and I'm gonna place it underneath the curl with the points facing down since this curl is facing forward, I'm supposed to pull the back one over first, like that. Then fold the bottom over, so that the curl is nice and snug inside. And then fold the bottom over. Like that, so that the entire curl is kind of encapsulated inside, and then you're supposed to just give the ends of the paper a little twist so that it holds. And there you go. That is much easier to do and much more comprehensible than what I did when I tried following James Stewart's written description in the Ploca Cosmos book. So let's try that again. I'm gonna take a bit of hair. Um, wrap it around my fingers, bring it up, take my triangle, fold it forward, then up, up again, and up again, and give it a twist. If I want to do it on the other side, I'm going to do just the opposite. So I'm going to, again, wrap it uh, towards my face, as it were. Bring it up. This is another one of those hairstyles where I feel like this would be so much easier to do on someone else's hair. Okay, so now my curl is facing forward again, so I'm once again going to start with the back one. And then keep folding my way the front. And that's it. So I'm now gonna try and do this on all of my hair. It's gonna take a while so I'm gonna do it off camera and unless I run into any problems I will see you when it's all done. All right a few takeaways from this. First of all definitely don't start from the top when you're doing this. That was my biggest mistake probably. I should have started at the bottom and worked my way up. Secondly having crinkly paper right next to your ear very unpleasant. But I did it. I definitely needed more tissue paper, so as you can see, there are two sheets in my hair now. But it is done, and now the next step is to pinch this with a straightening iron. In the 18th century, they would have used literal irons that would have been warmed up in the fire, and they would pinch the curls with. A modern day electric hair straightener works just fine. I'm gonna take off my glasses just to be sure. All you need to do is take this curl, 
and pinch it with the straightening iron. Also, as I'm doing this, I am realizing that it would have been so much easier to pinch the curl right after you've done it because how am I gonna know <laughs> which ones I've done and which ones I haven't? Hopefully you learned from my mistakes. I think I'm probably just gonna go top to bottom. It is really nice that you can hold the curl by this little tail. Now, the great thing about these papers is that they will protect your hair from the heat a little bit. I think I've done them all now and if not, We'll find out soon enough. Now just give this a couple of minutes to completely cool down so that the curls have the chance to set while still in the papers. And then I will be back to share the end results. Here's the fun part, I think, taking these out. Um, they should be really easy to take out. Supposedly you can just pull the tail and they will... <gasps> this one didn't turn out so great, but I like, I like that I can do this. Ooh, seems like I was really struggling with my ends. Look at that. I hope they aren't all like that. Oh, this one's really nice. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, once you get some stray hairs stuck in the little twisty bit, that's when it all goes south. Okay, so here is the initial result. Really pretty, bouncy voluminous spiral curls. Not every curl worked out perfectly. Some of them are definitely nicer than others, but I feel like overall it looks pretty nice. I like how bouncy this is. I think I'm just gonna try and separate these. <laughs> Might be making a mistake here, but I'm just gonna run my fingers through, see what happens. Okay, so here's what it looks like when I run my fingers through the curls. Not crazy about the result at this point. I feel like they look kind of odd. I definitely don't like what it's doing around my face. So I do think I'm gonna just run a brush through them really quickly, see what happens then. And then I'll try to style them in maybe like a half up two or something. You know what the thing is guys, the, these curls are very round, horizontal, if that makes sense. So no matter what I do, they keep kind of bouncing back into this strangely horizontal shape, which I don't think is necessarily very flattering. Honestly, I, I think uh, I think this is just a no for me. I fully acknowledge that I may have done this completely wrong from start to finish. I feel like I made my curls quite big. Yeah, this definitely isn't a look I would go for, I think. This was a really fun experiment. I'm glad I got to at least somewhat successfully do the paper curls. There's a giant pile of tissue paper in front of me now. Let me know what you think about the results. Is this something that you would try for yourself maybe one day? But that is it for today, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you'd like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there'll be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There's another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video.